In this video, we will show you how to install a residential wall mount opener. Before the installation, you will lay out and take inventory of all the pieces that came in the box. You will also need to prep the tools required for this installation. In our installation, we used an impact driver, a 7 16 inch socket ratchet, a monkey wrench, a drill with metal drill bits, wire cutters, a pencil or marker, and a flathead screwdriver. However, variations of operators might require slightly different sized tools, which will be listed in the owner's manual. Step 1. Mount the shaft coupler onto the opener output shaft on the side that the operator will be attached to the door shaft and only tighten the screws on the side of the operator. Once you have completed this, you will also install the opener mounting bracket on the same side as the shaft coupler using the provided bolt. Step 2. Mount the operator onto the torsion shaft. If your shaft requires a key, which usually is a solid shaft, use the supplied shaft key and align the coupler to lock into place. Leave at least a quarter inch gap between the shaft coupler and bearing plate. Once you have the shaft coupler tightened, you will want to secure the opener mounting bracket, which should only be secured onto a solid door frame. Once both the shaft and mounting bracket is secure, you will release the cable to allow the operator to spin freely with the door for a portion of the installation. Step 3. Mount the door lock on the door track above a roller on the second or third door panel from the floor. The door lock should be mounted on the same side as the opener, which is on the outside of the door and no more than 10 feet away from the opener. You can use pre-existing holes if they are a correct fit, or trace and drill new holes to accommodate the mounting of the door lock. Use the supplied track bolts and nuts to mount. Use the supplied door lock wire to connect the door lock to the opener. Plug the door lock wire into the opener labeled lock. Cut off the excess wire and strip a quarter of an inch of insulation off the ends. The door lock wires are polarity sensitive, so you will need to wire the white wire to W terminal and the striped wire to black and white terminal. Step 4. Mount the safety beams on each side of the garage door 6 inches above the floor with the provided lag screws into the wood. If mounting to a concrete block, you will need appropriate concrete fasteners which are usually not supplied with the operator but can be purchased at a local hardware store. Mount the safety beams with the photocells facing each other. After a secure mount, you will need to wire the safety beams to the operator. This process is not polarity sensitive but must match on each beam. Twist the two white wires together and the same process on the striped wires and insert the wires into the STB terminal by using a flathead screwdriver to press on the release tab. Step 5. Install the wireless wall console in the desired location in your garage, but no less than 5 feet from the floor. Pre-drill holes with the appropriate size for mounting screws and use the supplied drywall anchors if needed. Install the bottom screw, leaving an eighth inch gap, then slide the wall console over the screw and push it down slightly to lock it into place. With the battery compartment removed, drive the top screw to secure to the wall. And install the supplied batteries and then the battery cover. The supplied wireless console will automatically pair with the opener once powered up. Step 6. Install the supplied light fixture within 30 feet of the opener and near an active power outlet. Pre-drill two holes 7.5 inches apart and use the supplied drywall anchors if needed and fasten the supplied screws leaving an eighth inch gap. Route the power cord through the cutout in the light fixture and plug it into the wall outlet. 
align the light fixture mounting holes with the screws and turn the light assembly to lock into place. The light fixture will automatically pair with the opener when it is powered up. The light fixture will flash and beep, indicating that a pair is successful. Step 7. Install the battery backup unit onto the bottom side of the opener. Make sure the power is unplugged from the opener for this installation. Remove two screws on the bottom of the opener and slide the battery with the mounting tabs into the mounting tab holes on the opener at a 45 degree angle. Then, plug the battery connector into the BBU connection on the opener, then align the battery with the screws previously removed and secure the battery with those screws. Step 8. In this step, we will be programming the opener to your door. Make sure there is nothing in the way of the door and door track. Do not start the programming with the door fully open or closed. Plug the opener into an active power outlet. Press the up arrow button on the opener for 2 to 5 seconds until the long LED turns blue. Then release and the blue LED will flash which indicates that you are in program mode. Now press the down arrow button and hold until the door is fully closed. Then press the up arrow button until the door fully comes up. Now press the program set button to lock the programming and you're finished with programming the operator to your garage door. Step 9. The remote supplied with this operator is factory pre-programmed. So we will show you how to program an additional remote for this opener. Press and hold program set button on the opener for 2 to 5 seconds then release the button and the long LED will flash. Now press the button on the remote two times and the opener LED will flash a different color and become solid. Press the remote one more time to activate the garage opener. Now you have successfully programmed your remote to your opener. Thank you for watching this video from NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.